In today's video, gents, I'm gonna teach you how to grow a beard. You ready? Oh, Antonio, stop right there. What do you know about growing a beard? I don't think that face has ever seen scruff or even a five o'clock shadow. I am Eric Banholz. I am the founder of Beard Brand, the ultimate men's grooming channel on YouTube. We cover hair, beard, and a little bit of self-improvement. And I am here to give you the three tips on how to best grow out your beard. Now, tip number one and the ultimate thing to growing a beard is you've got to give it time. Yes, witty internet guy, all you need to do to grow a beard is not shave. We get that, but for how long are you not shaving? And my recommendation is you need to give your beard approximately 30 days of growth to see what you're working with. And the reason that is, is because your beard hairs will grow in at different rates. So you may have like a really kind of patchy, splotchy beard in those first couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden the slow growing hairs will start to fill it in and you'll get a better feel for what kind of beard you have they are working with. In addition to that, guys who stop at one week or two weeks, they typically find that the beard gets itchy and it's not tolerable anymore. But here's the beauty guys, is once it gets past that, about that two weeks phrase, it's going to get a lot softer, a lot more mellow, and a lot more manageable, and you're not gonna have that same kind of itch. Now for some of y'all, growing a beard for 30 days plus is going to be a little bit of a challenge. But the beauty is there's a lot of charity organizations out there where you can grow a beard for charity. So that's a perfect time or a perfect excuse to tell others, hey, I may look a little uh, messy up here, but I'm doing it for a good cause. Things like Movember are a perfect example for when to be growing. Now this beard takes about four months of time. So you've got to determine how big a beard you want and how long it's going to be how long it's going to take to get there. A beard is going to come in at about a half an inch every month. So if you want a good six inch beard, you're going to have to grow it for about a year. There is no right or wrong way to grow a beard. There's a lot of different beard styles, a lot of different beard patterns, a lot of different face shapes. So you've got to grow what you feel most comfortable with and groom it in a way that you feel most comfortable with. And that's my tip number two, is you do have to groom a beard. Now, when I say there are no rules, there is probably like the one major mistake or the one kind of standard thought process when it comes to grooming your beard, and that's your neckline. See, a lot of guys will make the mistake of going too close to the chin, and that really takes away a lot of the beard. Because remember, you want the beard to grow on your face. And this part, is still part of your face. This part is your neck. So face, neck. So what you wanna do is find that point where your face meets your neck. And one simple hack is you go like this, take it to your sideburns, and anything below the thumb, you'll wanna trim off, and anything above it, you wanna keep it. Or another way to do it is about a finger length above your Adam's apple. So that'll give you a general gauge as to where you should be carving your neckline. Now, when it comes to grooming your beard, you can go the all natural route where it's big and wild and, and all over the place, or you can go like the very meticulous, like straight lines, a little bit shorter, everything's in its place, but you still have to groom it. And what does that mean? That means washing your beard, softening your beard, using tools to get the tangles and all that like stuff that can accumulate in it. So you wanna make sure you take care of it. There are great tools like a boar's bristle brush, an awesome beard comb, and kind of most importantly, some beard brand beard oil. See, this stuff will soften up your beard. It will help with the itchiness. It's going to make it smell delightful. And in addition to taking care of your beard, this stuff, has been formulated to take care of your skin. So it's gonna help with flakes or dandruff or dryness that you get. And the beauty is after you choose to shave your beard, you can still use the product to help keep your skin healthy and conditioned and moisturized. All right, so tip number one and two should take you to the point where you know what you have to work with. 
And tip number three is to grow what you got. See, if you have a strong mustache or if you have strong sideburns or your strong goatee area, you should focus on and highlight those areas of the beard and maybe scale back the patchier areas. Generally speaking, the patchier the section of your beard is, the shorter you can get away with it. But keep in mind, you don't have to go completely shaven if you have a patchy beard. The scruff beard or the five o'clock shadow beard will give your face a little more dimension, a little more texture, and a little more character than going completely shaven. And guys like Keanu Reeves and James Franco and Johnny Depp are guys who have patchy beards who will leave a little bit of scruff in there. But there are hundreds of beard styles out there, so you've got to find what works for you and what doesn't work for you, what works for your face shape, and you're really at an endless option. So have fun with it. Feel free to try different styles, to grow different looks, and to feel confident that you are purposeful with your direction and you're gonna be able to rock it with confidence. Now, of course, I can go into a lot more details on beard care, but I wanna keep it to three tips. So if you want some more information, head over to our channel, Beard Brand. We've got over 400 videos that help with beard care, hair care, self-improvement, and we also got some inspiration with our barbershop series. So you can see other guys getting their cuts and looks done. Now, if I'm a little bit lucky, this video has helped convince Antonio to grow his beard out so he can learn from firsthand experience and not have to ask me to fill in here for his next beard video. So what do you think, Antonio? You wanna be growing that beard? All right, guys, if you want more information about how to take care of your beard, beard grooming products, how to trim your beard, go check out Eric over at Beard Brand. I'm gonna to link to him down in the description. Now, if you wanna meet Eric in person, come out to Menfluential. Guys, formerly StyleCon, this is my conference I have out in Atlanta. You can meet Jose over at Teaching Men's Fashion, Brock over at The Modest Man, Andy Snavely over at Primer Magazine. Guys, we get all the, I mean, the top guys in the industry come out. It's about lifestyle. It's about fitness. It's about you becoming the best man you can be. Me and Aaron Marino, we're proud to put on this conference to be able to help you being a better man to that next level so that you can take action. You can become the man you know yourself to be. Guys, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Now be sure to sign up for email notifications. That way you can watch my videos when they first come out. Now, sometimes I offer exclusive deals that are time sensitive. So make sure that you never miss out on one by being part of the early notification squad.